In this video, we combine one Stream Deck action with one Office shortcut to access every Office function from our Stream Deck. Hello everyone, and welcome to TechFix Flicks. Two years ago, we published our introduction to using the Elgato Stream Deck as a productivity tool, with the aim of streamlining our daily workflow, taking advantage of its system functions for anything but streaming. In that video, we demonstrated how our Stream Deck was set up to launch apps, access our network and local folders, open our most frequently used files, control our smart home devices, provide basic document formatting, insert automated text and special characters, jump to our favourite web pages, access system settings and shut down our PC. We won't be revisiting those topics again, so if you're looking for a primer, we'd suggest checking out that video before proceeding. Since we published our original video, the Stream Deck family has grown, with the original 15 button model and 6 button mini now joined by the 32 button XL and app for mobile devices, and we've placed links for each model in the written description accompanying this video. With absolutely no apologies to streamers, because this video isn't aimed at you, we now return to the Stream Deck with a new series of productivity hints and tips. Coming up in future videos, we'll be using the Stream Deck for single button backup routines, file handling and renaming, and accessing system functions within Windows. To kick off this series, we're beginning by using the Stream Deck with Microsoft Office. As with many apps, Microsoft Office is controllable via keyboard shortcuts, and we've previously looked at simple keyboard mappings in conjunction with the Stream Deck hotkey function, allowing us to quickly add bold formatting via the hotkey Ctrl B, italic via Ctrl I, and underline via Ctrl U. Single combination shortcuts within Office are numerous, and googling Office cheat sheets produces a wealth of useful simple keyboard shortcuts, covering Word, Excel, PowerPoint and more. However, the list of shortcuts accessible via this method is finite, and only represents a small portion of the overall functionality of the Office suite. We can take our first step to expanding upon these functions by using the multi-action function on the Stream Deck, accessible by right-clicking on any blank tile and selecting Create Multi-Action from the menu which appears. Double-clicking the newly created multi-action icon allows us to combine hotkeys, so we could add three hotkeys, applying Ctrl B, Ctrl I and Ctrl U in sequence to produce text which is bold, italicised and underlined via a single button press. We could build yet further by adding text blocks of pre-prepared text responses, using hotkeys to turn formatting on or off, allowing canned responses to be applied with formatting. Whilst these combination formatting options are useful, in our introduction we promised to use the multi-action function to access every Office function, so we clearly need to move beyond simply combining hotkey combinations with canned text. Just to stack the cards even more firmly against us, we're adding a further stipulation, namely that we can only achieve our aim using native Stream Deck functions, so we cannot, for example, invoke predefined styles or quick parts from Word. To give this project a firm footing, here's what we're heading toward. It's a Stream Deck folder containing buttons which can be pressed to change the colour of text in Microsoft Word. Of course, this is achieved very straightforwardly with a mouse, and we've picked this as a purely representative example. What's important here isn't the function, or the selection of colours, but rather the underlying technique used in the setup, which can be applied globally to rapidly access every function. We'll demonstrate further use examples later in the tutorial. Now we know where we're headed, let's find out how to get there. We begin by selecting two icons. The first will be a folder icon representing the group, whilst the second will be recoloured and used repeatedly for the individual colours. Selecting an icon is a purely personal choice, and as ever, Google is our friend here. For the folder icon, we thought a colour wheel or paint swatch would ideally represent a collection of colours, so we use colour swatch icon as our search term, and here are the matching images. We also click on the matching colour scheme images before scrolling down through our choices. We like the look of this swatch icon, which conveys the concept of selecting from a range of colours, so we'll explore that. Clicking it takes us through to the download site, where we scroll down to the download link which we click. With our group or folder icon secured, we now need an icon to represent each colour. The plan here is to download a striking silhouette, which can be easily recoloured using Paint 3D. We therefore return to search. Although we could straightforwardly use coloured squares here, we'd like something a bit more eye-catching, so we search for Paint Splash, which offers some great options. 
We pick our favourite and click it, taking us to flaticon.com, a site which we mentioned in our tutorial from two years ago. We click the download link and we select the free download option. Obviously this is purely for personal use, so it falls within the free download category. We've now secured both of the icons we need for the project, so we return to the desktop, accessing them via our downloads folder. For absolute clarity, we'll rename this file Paint Splash and we'll label this one Swatch. For each file, we'll need to perform a small amount of preparation using Paint 3D, so we select the Swatch file before right clicking for a menu, then selecting the option to edit with Paint 3D. With the image now opened in Paint 3D, we move to our Canvas options. We want to change to a square canvas, as our Stream Deck uses square icons. From basic maths, we know that a square needs equal length and width. Before we alter those values, we first need to untick two options, namely Lock Aspect Ratio and Resize Image with Canvas. Whilst we make extensive use of both of these options in other projects, in this instance they'll stretch the image in a way which won't benefit it. Now we simply click inside the height box, changing the value to 720, creating a perfectly square graphic. We click Menu and drop down to Save. Clicking saves our resized graphic, returning us to the editing window. Closing down and returning to File Explorer, we select our Paint Splash file. For the second time we right click and opt to edit with Paint 3D. This time when we head to the canvas details, no further amendments are required, because the canvas is already square. However, we make a cosmetic alteration to the image, where we'll change the 6 highlights from masked to white, to make them stand out further on the physical stream deck. We therefore move to our brushes, selecting the flood fill tool. From the colour palette, we select white, filling each of the 6 highlights in turn, before again heading to the menu and saving the image. We'll be using this image as a master template, and we'll return to change its colour later in the video. With both images now edited and saved, we turn to our stream deck, where we right click a blank tile, selecting the option to create folder. We need to assign an icon to the folder, so we again click for a menu, selecting the option to set from file, before navigating to our saved images and choosing our swatch icon. Of course, we might want to add the label font to the icon, as we might also want to set up colour selectors for object fills, highlighters, shaders and so on. With the icon now in place on the stream deck, we click to open the folder. Now we create our multi-action, by right clicking on a blank tile and selecting create multi-action from the menu which appears. Our multi-action is created. This is one half of the combination which will form the structure of any stream deck command for office. The other half of the combination is supplied by office. Obviously there are multiple versions of office in common use, and our screenshots are taken from office 2013. The magic here happens when we press the ALT key. You'll notice that each of the major functions has been assigned a letter. Pressing the corresponding letter on our keyboard takes us further into the menu. There will be some degree of variation as to the letters shown between versions of Word, and between configurations of specific installations, but they'll be broadly similar. Let's navigate to the option to set our text colour to red. We therefore press H to access the Home tab, then in sequence we press F for font, followed by C for colour. We then press Tab to move to Theme Colours. We can see our position, as indicated by the box around the selected colour, and we now need to press the arrow down key 6 times to move to the standard colours row. Having moved down 6 rows, we now need to move one space to the right, using the right arrow key. We then simply press the Enter key to complete the action. We've now established a full sequence of keystrokes, which directly translate into Stream Deck hotkeys. We therefore return to the Stream Deck and our blank multi-action, where we drag in a hotkey function before clicking to assign a hotkey. The first hotkey is the all-important ALT key, and we now need to repeat the process for each of the hotkeys in sequence. We again drag in a hotkey function, then assign H as the relevant key. After dragging in the next hotkey, we map F, and our next is C. Then we drag in a further hotkey function, assigned to Tab. For our next hotkey, something different. We begin in the same way by dragging in the function, then pressing the down arrow. As we need to create a total of 6 downward movements, we need to repeat our existing command a further 5 times, and for that we can take advantage of copy and paste. We can therefore use either the copy option from the menu, or the keyboard shortcut Ctrl C, before pasting 5 further copies toward our total of 6 instances. 
All that remains is to drag in the penultimate hotkey, which will be assigned to the right arrow, before we add the final hotkey, which is mapped to enter or return. Our fully completed sequence is now ready to test, so we return to Word. We see that our text colour is currently set to black, but when we press our newly created macro button, the colour changes to red, which can be seen when we type. You'll note that we see each step as it's being processed, as if we're personally pressing the keys, and we don't jump immediately to the output as you might expect. This is true of all Stream Deck multi-actions. Now that we know that it works, it's time to assign an icon. A nice touch would be to have the colour of the icon exactly match the colour we're setting, and it's easily achieved. Returning to our font colour dialog in Microsoft Word, we select the More Colours option. At the Colours menu, we move to the Custom tab. We see that the dialog is pre-populated with the red, green and blue values of our chosen colour. We can use that data to apply this exact colour to our icon. We therefore navigate to our Paint Splash icon, which was black when we originally downloaded it. We click for a menu, selecting the option to edit with Paint 3D. Our graphic appears, and we click on Custom. The Edit Colour window appears, and is populated with red, green and blue values. Using the values we obtained from Word, we set red to 255, tabbing through green which we set to 0, and further tabbing to blue which we likewise set to 0. Tabbing away from the blue value, we click OK. We've now successfully replicated the colour from Word, and now select the Flood Fill tool. Clicking anywhere on the black part of the shape, replaces black with red. All that remains is to save the graphic by heading to the menu, and this time we'll use the Save As option. We select Image. At the Image dialog, we change the name from Paint Splash to Paint Splash Red, clicking Save to create a new and entirely separate image. Returning to our multi-action, we summon a menu, selecting the option to set from File. From our selection of icons, we pick the newly created Paint Splash Red. The icon is now applied. With our first fully formulated multi-action in place and selected, we can now scale this up to include as many distinct colours as we wish. We therefore copy our first tile, then select the neighbouring tile. We can now either use the menu or the keyboard shortcut Ctrl V to create a second identical action. We ultimately decide that we'll have separate buttons for red, orange, yellow, light green, dark green, light blue, dark blue, purple, white and black, meaning that we create a total of 10 multi-event buttons. With our first tile remaining red, we move to the second, which will be used for orange. Returning to Word, we see that the difference between accessing red and orange is nothing more than one additional move to the right. We therefore return to our multi-action and open it. We insert a new hotkey, positioning it below the right hotkey in the template. We click to assign, again pressing the right arrow key. With that, our multi-action is set up. We return to Word to test it, and pressing our Stream Deck button changes the colour of text entered to orange, which we can see when we type. We're now into repetition, and selecting more colours enables us to obtain the RGB values, which we then enter into Paint 3D, providing us with the exact colour to create our second icon. Returning to our Stream Deck, we can apply our latest icon by setting from File and selecting our new orange icon. We now have two fully completed buttons, and what follows is simply a case of repetition. Fast forwarding through the next six colours, each multi-action simply includes one further rightward movement than its predecessor. Indeed, it may have been more straightforward to create the rightmost icon first, then simply delete one rightward movement for each successive icon to the left. Adding white is very straightforward, and is achieved by deleting many of the steps to leave only those shown on screen. Black required additional graphics work to outline the shape, but requires significantly fewer steps to select via multi-action. We now have a complete framework for creating similar multi-action events in Office, each beginning with Alt and subsequently navigating to the relevant function. At the start of the tutorial, we promised some further suggestions for application of this technique, and here we can see a font selector, how to insert a square or rectangle, how to insert word art, change the page colour, change from portrait to landscape, or zoom to page width. Given that we can navigate to every function using a sequence of key presses following Alt, and given that multi-action accepts sequential hotkeys, we can map any function in Word to our Stream Deck. Furthermore, this method works equally well across the Office suite, including marquee apps Excel, PowerPoint and Outlook. 
As a bonus feature, look out also for the menu option on the Stream Deck, which can be deployed in conjunction with a selected object to access functions via the right click menu. Still to come in this series, we'll be using our Stream Deck to perform single button backups, file renaming and moving operations, accessing Windows settings and more. Be sure to subscribe for all of our future content and don't forget to check out our back catalogue. As you've watched our Stream Deck video all the way through, you might also be interested in our video on repurposing a multi-button gaming mouse to improve workflow. You'll find it linked in the written description. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you found it useful, please consider subscribing by clicking the logo on screen now. If you'd like to see more, there are two suggestions currently on screen. If you have a better, faster or more economical solution, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. You're also welcome to follow us on Twitter. Until your next tech fix, goodbye.